What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Super excited for today's video. I hope you guys are too. Today we will be finishing up this Schwinn OCC chopper and hopefully, I really, I'm really hoping today, today might be the day that we finally get to ride this thing. I definitely want to start it today. Like that's my goal. Like get it started and see how it's going with the chain and everything. So, if you missed last video, we put the engine on and we did get a torque converter. It is for a 212cc. This engine is a 79cc, so we're still hoping that that situation works out. Today, what we have to do is I have a new throttle right here. We're going to be putting the throttle on and uh, going to the engine with it. We got this gas tank that last video I was installing but as most of you know if you have a Schwinn OCC chopper that those studs are definitely not long enough and the brackets that it comes with aren't uh you know they don't fit that frame well so my quick fix is going to be um I got a piece of aluminum and it's bendable I'm going to bend some brackets to mount up to that so that's the goal. Uh, we have to get the chain on. We're going to have to shorten the chain. And I believe that's about it. So stay tuned and hopefully we can get this thing done so we can ride it. Like that's what I'm waiting for. And I'm sure all of you are waiting for that too. So let's get to it. Okay guys, we have the gas tank mounted. I use this double nut technique. And we are just doing the back bracket for right now. It's plenty sturdy, so. Like I said, I screwed on a nut and I tightened that one against it on both sides. I will paint this black eventually, but we're just gonna leave it as is for right now. I'm gonna finish buttoning up the gas tank and then we're gonna go to the throttle. Finally, it took me forever. I did it. I lost my, well, I have the chain tensioner. I'm at the chain cutter, but the thing broke in it. So, had to grind it off, but we ended up getting it to shape. We're using this chain tensioner. This one didn't, does not fit on that the right way. So, but we got this one. And that's the only way it could be mounted because if it's not tensioned on the bottom, then this will hit this frame going to the back sprocket, to the rear sprocket. So it's got to be tensioned from right here so this chain can miss that just barely. And it's not going to hit that either. Got the belt on. In the last video, 
Um, I put it on the wrong way, so I just swapped it. The the slanted side is supposed to go out, or whatever side the pulley is slanted. So, gas tank is mounted. Throttle is good. There's my throttle set up. I uh, built a little bracket right here. That's going to run to right there. Um, really, only thing left is I got to tie on the brakes real fast and put some gas in it, and I'm going to start it up. I actually have to put on the straight pipe exhaust, so we'll go ahead and do that right now, and then we should be good to start it. Sheesh. All right, guys. Brought it outside of the shed to the backyard on the back side, just in case, because it's really loud. Man, look at that thing. Looks so sick. Now, moment of truth, it hasn't started for four or five months maybe so I just added some gas everything is good let's start it up back here it's probably gonna be really loud so all right guys let's start it up Just like that, guys, she starts right up. Man, that exhaust sounds so good, that straight pipe. I was giving it a little bit of throttle, and you could tell when that clutch is engaging, and it's engaging, so it seems like it's wanting to take off, but let's go, and I'm gonna throw on the GoPro, and let's go ride this thing, man. I'm kinda nervous, honestly, but it should be fun. Wow, guys, my, I have no words. That was so much fun. We finally did it. For all the haters who are saying I wasn't going fast or whatever, like, I know I'm not building this bike for speed. I'm building it for just fun, like, to cruise around the neighborhood like I just did. And I know it's not for perfect. I still need foot pegs. That's a big thing. And I need to wrap that exhaust with some uh, exhaust wrap or build a guard for it. But I like the chain setup. Um, I will need to upgrade the brakes for sure. The reason it wasn't starting is because the fuel line, the fuel was off, so it was just running off of whatever fuel was in there. And when I give it gas, it was just bogging down. So I opened the fuel all the way, or either I had the fuel in reserve, but I opened it all the way and it started going like immediately. And for those of you who wanted to know about the torque converter, it did excellent. Like. I don't know why they don't advertise this for 79cc too because I mean I'm sure it's taking away some power but overall it's I would highly recommend it with the 48 tooth sprocket like I said guys I'm just really happy thank you guys for watching and if you're not already hit that subscribe button like share I'll see you guys next time stay motivated